Okay, let's take a look at another exam example of a projectile being launched. But notice this time it's being launched from the ground. So our initial height is going to be zero. So we will not really have a constant in our equation. So it says Bruce hit a golf ball with a velocity of 72 meters per second squared. So this means we're going to use the formula with negative 4.9. So our height at any given second is going to be negative 4.9 times t squared plus the velocity of 72 times t. And again, our initial value is going to be zero. So the y-intercept represents the height where the ball begins. So it's going to be starting on the ground right here. The initial height at zero seconds is zero meters high. What does the vertex represent? The vertex represents, first of all, the time in seconds it takes to reach the maximum height. So that's the first part of the vertex. H sub t, this is the actual maximum height the golf ball reaches. Our zeros, and we have two relevant zeros, represents the time the ball is on the ground. So the ball starts on the ground at zero seconds and then the ball is hit and then it lands and it's at zero meters again. So this time our roots will both be relevant and one will be zero. So the initial height is zero meters. It starts on the ground. The maximum height of the ball. To get the maximum height, we need the amount of seconds it takes. So we're going to do negative b over 2a. So the time it takes to reach the maximum height is negative b over 2 times a. And when we divide this out, I'm going to get a positive value, which we should because we're talking about time. And this is going to be 7 point, I'm just going to go ahead and just round to the tenth, 7.3 seconds. And now let's see how many meters that is. So when we plug in our seconds for time, We're going to get 7.3 squared times negative 4.9. This gives us a negative 261.121. And then we're going to add this value, 72 times 7.3. That gives us 525.6. So this gives us 264, and again, I'm just going to round to the tenth, 0.5 meters. So that's how high. So in 7.3 seconds, so at 7.3 seconds, the ball is about 264.5 meters. What is the height? So we're looking for our output in five seconds. So let's put in five seconds and calculate to see how high it is in five seconds. Okay. 
and we get 237.5 meters. So at about five seconds, it's about 200, we could say it's about right here, 237.5. So again, if they're asking for height, you simply plug in your five for your input value. If they ask for the seconds, you're gonna plug in the height they give you and we'll probably use the quadratic formula. So how many seconds will it take to reach the maximum height? Well, we've already calculated that. We said about 7.3 is how long it's gonna take, 7.3 seconds. How many seconds will it take the ball to land? So we're gonna be looking for this root here. We know one root is going to be zero, and now we are gonna use the quadratic to find the other root. So we're gonna set our equation equal to zero. So our formula is going to be negative b, plus or minus the square root, and we're gonna have 72 squared minus four times A times C, which is zero, over two times A. So the good news here, so we have negative 72 plus or minus and when we square 72, we get 5,184. And when we multiply this part, we get zero. And then we have negative 9.8. So we're gonna have negative 72 plus or minus, we just squared 72 to get this value, so the square root of it is 72. So we have negative 72 minus 72 over negative 9.8. And we have negative 72 plus 72 over negative 9.8. So you can see here we're going to get 0 over negative 9.8. So this is the initial value. That's the root that is here where the ball started. This one we're gonna get negative 144 over negative 9.8. So this is going to be about 14.7 seconds is how long it's gonna take the ball to land. So this is our 14.7 seconds and this is our second zero.